What's going on my friends? My name is Jesus Vega and you guys are watching Vega 23. Today's video it's brought to you guys from the comfort of our shop. It's been a while since I shot a video talking to you guys about some of the things that I do here at the shop and since we partnered up with Zazu we do a lot of things that are different compared to just screen printing which we used to do at the old location and today we're going to talk about invoices. So uh, I know this is not a common thing and a common item that typical print shops offer but here at Sasu Print they used to have this as a common item and request from customers so uh, there's only one thing that you will need in order to make a certain type of invoice now if your customers are asking for a full page which is a eight and a half by eleven invoice that looks like this with the white copy in the front and the yellow copy on the back then you're golden all you need to do is just order the paper that comes in a stack that's already staggered for you where it goes white, yellow, white, yellow, all the way down, put it in your printer, create the design, and you're done. If you have a customer that wants half a page, like this one, then you have to have a machine to cut it. And that is the reason why we're shooting today's video. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to glue the invoices and how to cut them if your customers want a half a page invoice. So here at Sazu Print, they already thankfully had this cutting machine. And by the way, this is a very dangerous machine. You have to be super careful. They have this safety feature where you have to pull these two levers at the same time in order for the blade to come down and cut. And the reason why it's because you don't want to have your finger down there while you press the lever and the blade comes down because it will chop your finger like it's butter with a hot blade. I'm telling you this thing is something else. So this machine has two options here. One is to um, clamp down your item. So you, you bring this down pretty much, clamp it down so that your paper doesn't move. Then you turn it on and this is uh, driven by a hydraulic. So you press the lever, comes down and it cuts. I'm gonna show you that process here in a little bit. For the invoices that I'm doing that are half a page, we're gonna go ahead and glue them first. Then we have this compound glue. It's called padding compound. So we're gonna show you guys how we glue the invoices. It's gonna be a two-step process. The first one is just to kind of get the paper wet, um, let the glue settle. And then we're gonna come back a second time and add a good layer so that when we pull out the invoices, they actually stick back to back. Now, we usually do a full book and we just give it to the customer they tear off the two pages that they need at a time but this specific customer wants some separated so once everything is glued and dried we're gonna tear them all apart so that they're separated and he can just grab them and as he needs them why I don't know it doesn't really make a lot of sense but that's what the customer requested so that's what we're gonna do all right aside from having this cutter that's very useful for this process I'm gonna give you guys a little tip I bought this air duster vacuum two-in-one tool that is very helpful because whenever you're cutting paper you're gonna have a lot of debris and I always like to work in a clean environment so to turn this on all you have to do is press and hold Okay, that's the first thing I like to do. Let's put that away here for a second. The second thing, I'm just gonna put this down real quick. All right, here's like a pro tip. This is something that I learned by trial and error because I wasn't taught how to do this. So this tape comes in very handy. And the reason why it's because when you glue, you don't wanna glue the surface. And if you glue the tape, then you can always just remove it and it's easier to clean it off than it would be when you um, glue directly on the metal. So you can just kind of put it on there evenly or freely. Let's measure. Uh, looks like it's enough. I'm gonna, so this blade, uh, the hydraulic is going out on my machine. So you guys can see it's leaking a little bit of fluid. Um, that's why the blade comes down, but I'm gonna turn it on and you guys are gonna see the blade go up There it is 
Now, if you were to rub your finger on the blade while it's down, it's definitely gonna cut your finger open. This part right here is what comes down and presses on your um, material. This right here, it's a lever that pushes everything straight back and forth. So watch, let me, let me load this all the way in there just so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna turn the lever and that's gonna push it all the way in. See how it's bringing it back out? That's all it does. So that lever just kind of controls that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure, and I tap as much as I can to make sure that everything is lined up. We also have this tool right here that helps us Kind of pat it down a little bit to make sure that everything is nice and even and you can hold this while you move the lever so this comes back to your desired area all right at this point uh, you can use a better uh, brush if you have one this one has been working for me just fine and you just want to be careful here that you don't add too much so i'm just going to show you guys here barely wet the tip no pun intended and we're gonna spread so now that we have the tape down here you know you can glue the bottom it's not gonna hurt anything and that's the purpose of having the glue down there I'm sorry the tape so we're gonna add just a little bit at a time and as you guys can see it's spreading nice and evenly all right my friends at this time I want to thank my sponsors for this video just kidding, I don't have any sponsors. I wanna take the time to let you guys know that my machine, this automatic press has been down for about five weeks now. And yesterday, the uh, MNR tech finally made it out, came to take a look at the machine. We figured out what the problem was, or at least we hope that we figured it out. I had to overnight the part from MNR. It's gonna come in at 10 o'clock this morning, so we're about 30 minutes away from hopefully the part arriving so that the uh, tech can come in on time. We can diagnose that. I have five more hours of his time. So we're not only gonna hopefully get the machine running, but look at other issues that I'm having with the machine. Um, those don't impede me from working, but you know we can take a look at them while we have him in our shop. It's been a struggle not having this automatic running for the past couple of weeks, but I do have some friends here around the valley that have helped me by letting me, me borrow their press. I'm super thankful, you know, we're always going back and forth, helping each other out. And I feel like in the end, that is the whole reason why I make this video so we can also help you guys out. Now, this may not be important to you guys, but the cost for the tech to come out here and take a look at this machine was around $1,600 for six hours of his time. $600 of those $1,600 was just for traveling fees which didn't really make sense to me because the guy lives in the state, so whatever. It's either you book the reservation or you don't. So I was stranded, I didn't know what to do. The problem that this machine had was way past beyond my knowledge, so I had to do what I had to do. And once we figure out what the problem was, I'm gonna make a specific video for you guys. Just in case you guys run into this problem, you guys can save 1600 bucks and hopefully a headache and not be down for more than a week like I was for five. So um, that's the whole reason why I make these videos. That's the whole reason why I make these videos of uh, screen printing and how to so that you guys can not have a hard time and spend a ton of money uh, on basically nonsense, to be honest with you. It's something that I should have been able to diagnose myself. But like I said, I know a lot of things on this machine, but there's certain things that I just don't understand. And having here, here having him here and kind of seeing him how he troubleshoots just kind of opens up my mind at different ways of looking at how to fix things uh, i'm not a mechanic all right my friends so we already went and took it a step further we added the second layer of glue so now what we're going to do is just bring this back so we can remove uh, the invoices from there lift the blade and then bring these back so i can show you real quick Okay, so as you guys can see, all the glue is already added. We're just gonna clean this up to make it look nice, but these are already stuck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them down the middle. 
and like I mentioned earlier this tape right here the purpose of it is so we can get all that glue, residue glue out of there and it'll be easier to clean every single time that's all you have to do remove the tape so at this point we're gonna bring in the invoices we're gonna figure out where the center is lock it in and this is how we cut it that's it so this specific customer wants them separated so what we're gonna have to do individually we're gonna have to do this to every two pages I hope you guys learned something today my job here for the next 10 minutes is just gonna be ripping out every two pages at a time once we're done that job is ready and this is how we do invoices here when it's a full page that it's an eight and a half by 11 we just glue it hand it over and we're done by the way good news we got the machine running so that means that tomorrow we're gonna come in and we're gonna print the 700 shirt order that we have for major customer that outsourced some job to me and he understood the, the whole thing that was happening with the machine I gave him a heads up told him that the tech was here it took a little bit longer than I expected but we figured it out and we also fixed the heads that were um, malfunctioning so very happy about that we're gonna be in here Saturday probably half a day printing the 700 shirts take about two hours to print the ha the front two hours to print the back and we're done so thank you guys very much I hope you guys learned something Happy that we're back up and running and we're going to make more content with the press running here pretty soon. So thank you very much. Peace out. Subscribe, like, share. And uh, my videographer here needs to also like, share and subscribe.